There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? You know who it is. I'm back in the building. Mr. W-O-R-M back in the building. You know how I do. And today, like I said, this shit may not be new. I just changed my background to where I am, you know. I want to talk about today. Hmm. Sorry, I got a little bit of a cold going. I've been out in the snow with this, with, you know, hanging out with friends and family and uh, ladies, of course, always. Today, I'm going to talk about how you'll support gay rights, but you won't support affirmative action. Now, a couple people have been saying to me on YouTube, put my inbox, how come you don't talk about a lot of black issues? And I explain in other videos why I just don't focus on black issues. Today is going to be another point I prove on why I don't focus on just black issues. Now, there is a set of bill bar, barring workplace bar, workplace bias. And, uh, and uh, no, there was a Senate bill that was okay. The bill went to the Senate. It was okay about work, workplace bias. It might, it, it, it might have been, it was in the House. And it's coming up for a vote. I don't know if they voted on it yet or not, because I, I got to check on it. And I'm doing a video now. As it's going, as it's happening now, as I'm talking about, it, I guess. And it might not make it without an executive order. So, now, that being said, we support, you know, barring workplace discrimination on any reason, no matter what your sexuality, your race, your creed, your nationality, your religion, any type of belief you have, you know. We, we, we don't endorse discrimination, but a clear majority of businesses have, have these policies in effect already. Like they, what they want to do is they want you, uh, they, want, they don't want people to discriminate because of whatever. Well, a lot of these, if you like the company I work for, that's part of the program. You can't do any of this shit. And they, they are, I, I give them credit as far as that. They are real politically correct when it comes to like stuff like that because where I work at is very, it's diverse as far as racial. You know, you got people from, white people from the southern parts of Kentucky. Uh, let me explain so I moved to Columbus. I'm in Columbus, Ohio. And in Columbus, Ohio, there's a diverse group of people. Because like back in the 90s and early 2000s, jobs were everywhere out here. I ain't gonna lie. Like, the newspaper had five sections of jobs when I first moved out here. I was just fortunate enough to capitalize on it. So, we have, in my job, we have we have white people from Kentucky and only seen white people. We have black people from the hood, from Brooklyn, and only seen black people, and so forth. We have, we got people from Venezuela at my job. We got people from Germany at my job. So, we come from a diverse group. And we have people that are gay, we have people that are Muslim, so forth and so forth. And my job is, and I have to give them credit for that, they are on top of this. Because it's kind of, it's politically correct and all, I understand that, but I have to give them credit as far as they are being on top of that. But, wouldn't there be more, they don't want, this would be more like an affirmative action, wouldn't it be? But I mean, but this is my point, a lot of people aren't out here promoting this. You want to cry and whine, but at the same time, you don't want to do anything about it. You know? They're taking away affirmative action. They're placing it with the gay agenda. This is why I don't talk about black issues a lot because 80% of you do not give a shit when you talk about black issues. The black church definitely doesn't give a shit. You don't know why in the black church? Now, I don't mean when I say the black church, I don't mean I don't mean every one single black church doesn't care. I mean a clear majority do not care. You wanna know why? We think they're getting some money there from. They're getting some, they're getting some money from uh, homosexuals. Because there are homosexuals in the church. Don't let's not be fooled. But there's certain people ministers who I respect for other religion. I respect Farrakhan's stance on that. I respect Pastor John Hagee's stance on that. I respect my my the, the, the church I used to go to back in Pennsylvania. I lived there. I used to I respect my preachers. It was the preacher I have now where I know when we was deep when I was 
coming up. I inspect his stance. And his stance is, you know, if, as long as you're trying to strive for God and like try to deny that, he can help you out. But he comes from he comes from the old days where if you still doing that, well, he does. He's basically anything. Say if I'm fooling around with five different women, we'll be like, brother, one like, are you willing to get that up for God? No, but I'm like, I don't think so. He'll kick me out the church. It's the same thing with homosexuals. They say, are you trying to strive for better work with God? If you say yes and try, go to church. But if not, I guess he kicks you out. And you gotta respect that because he's going by his his religious book, his religious teaching. Now, a lot of you cry babies and whiners. Well, who the hell are you guys to judge? John 7, 24. I think it's John 7, 24. It's either John 7, 24 or John 7, 14. It deals with your right to judgment. So, and that's another thing. I can get you with that. So, I'll leave that alone for now. But this is why I don't talk about, like, a lot of my videos are not concerned with just focusing on black folks. You know why? 80% of y'all don't give a shit. Look at your look at your Facebook. You got people doing their little menstrual and coonery on Facebook, and y'all ain't saying them. That's why I rotate more on Google Plus, because Google Plus is dedicated to creative minds, and people trying to get shit done. You know what I mean? Facebook, you got, you got everybody's a boss, everybody's a model. You know, you, you're flashing Google pictures of money, and you're all taking pictures of you in your bathing suits, wondering why you can't find a good guy. Well, let me put it this way. If my chick's taking a thousand pictures of herself in a bathing suit, she ain't my chick. But this is one of the reasons why I do not talk about stuff like this, because number another thing I don't talk about stuff like this because you won't come to terms to grips with being a bunch of DNC lackeys. Like like on the gay agenda, the DNC rolled into town, they told you guys what to say, and you parroted it. To, to a T by the way. Because realistically if you look at the black people's like values Overall, they more tend to be. I'm not talking about fiscal. I'm talking about their their their, their, their values as far as their, their how they feel and stuff. They tend to more lean along the lines of the conservative and the GOP. If you look at it like that, as, as much as you churchgoers gone, you guys are the really ones that are killing me with this homosexual stuff. Cause you guys will vote for anything. So I'm digressing. When the DNC comes around. And they tell you who to vote for and who this and that and that. You guys will parrot that shit to a T. And, and like, let me give you another example. You guys do not give a shit about stuff that's affecting you until it affects you. Cause let me tell you, remember that? Remember the remember the welfare car episodes? Remember that story down in Louisiana? It probably happened a lot of the stories. Remember that story that made a big deal in Louisiana, where all you motherfuckers got out their carts and thought you're gonna steal from us? And then left the car to the store when you got caught. Why don't you do that whenever it's time to vote? You got mothers have millions of excuses why they can't vote. But if you do something like that, it was like the fucking, it was so crowded, it looked like the fucking New York City Marathon starting line. That's how crowded that shit was. When it comes to vote, you guys hem haw and be like, well, I can't make it to the, but I can't make it to the voting booth. It'll be down the street at your library. But if your EBT card ain't working, you'll 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 be the fucking U.S. Postal Service. You'll go through rain, sleet, or hell just to see if that thing working. And that's what I, and that's one of the, one of my biggest gripes. You don't want to solve problems. You want your problems solved for you, and you want your problems solved by the government. And if the government solves your problem, the government is not going to solve your problem. What you need to do is do like those folks did in Chicago when Al Sharpton came around with his little buffoonery and coonery dances. But you know what happened? They had, they were having a town hall meeting with, in Chicago. And you know how they did it. They probably gathered around and Al Sharpton goes, I'll talk to them. I just know what, I know what to say to them. Well, Al Sharpton proceeded to do his little buck dance and his little guns in the neighborhood, yada, yada, yada. This, this, this is the excuse that liberals and a lot of black people use guns in the neighborhood. If that's the case, white people have guns in their neighborhood. Middle class black people have guns in their neighborhood. They ain't all shooting that shit up, all right? It's the poor, you wanna watch? Cause you, it's the predatory nature of people. You know, and here's what kill me, you won't go to, you won't go to, you, you won't go to a black middle class or a white neighborhood to do it. You'll do that in the, in the hood. 
and it's just, it's the same way as I mean not as, uh, economics around. So I'm saying black because obviously I'm black. I'm not gonna lie to you, like say, oh you're a sellout. But that's another video for another time. But I don't. I, I, like I said before, you guys don't give a shit. I can. I can make thousands of videos. I, I got videos on here showing people how to get on welfare. You think they want to go to that and see that? You want to why? Because if I, if you get, if you, if you watch that video and take heed, that means you have to do a little work. That means you, the onus is on you to get off of it. But you don't want to get off of it. You want the government to keep taking care of you. And then when the government fucks you over, you want to cry about the government. Well, that's like your parents. Sooner or later. They're gonna take you off that bottle, baby. So, I'm just saying, when I, when I give this stuff to you and you don't wanna act, don't come back later and whatever affects you and say, well, where was I when this happened? You were getting okie duck, so don't get mad at me because you're stupid. I'm out. Peace. There. That's it. That's him. <laughs>